I can give you a hundred reasons not to go to Pattaya. How do you just need one reason to go, right? Buckle up, today we are going to talk everything about Pattaya has to offer. If you want to know the story of all this shirt, stay till the end. So if you don't know, Pattaya might be one of the biggest uh, adult playground in the whole world. The sun is going down, seems a great time to talk about adult stuff. By adult, I mean both for male and female, but I would focus on more about the male side, since I'm a male. I know there are places for female, it's just I have never been there. So what does Pattaya have to offer? Well, in short, there are go-go bar, beer bar, freelancer, entertainment, uh, bathing, and a spa, stuff like that. So beer bar and a go-go bar, you may consider them the same. You don't have to back up, bro. <laughs> Interesting. Anyway, the difference for beer bar and a go-go bar is Beer bar opens around 1 p.m. to 1 a.m. While go bars they open at night, somewhere around 8 p.m. and then till 3 or 4 a.m. And the go go bar price is also a time higher than beer bar, so it also provides, I can't say better service, it's just a, in go go bar you have girls dancing with a pole and sometimes we'll do topless dancing. As the name suggests, Go go means you can go there and take a girl with you. I'm sorry to say that, but uh, that's why it's called a go go. So the go go bar is more business drive, while for beer bar, that's kind of different. Oh, it's kind of more relaxed, and uh, while they are hanging out with other girls or having discussion or buy stuff, and uh, it is exactly that stuff I feel like you are engaging with Thai people, not just. Uh, you know, prostitution, just to pay the money and then go with the, someone. And there will be freelancers. So freelancers usually they don't work in go-go bar or beer bar because they want more flexible time. And sometimes, I mean, when those girls from go-go bar or beer bar, they kind of off work, they might go to the club. And uh, in that case, you can also assume they are freelancer because you don't need to pay the bar fine. I'm not suggesting you should do that. It's just uh, by lucky. Because, you know, girls in Google Bar, they didn't finish their work till 3 or 4 o'clock, bro. Usually for freelancers, they ask for a lower price. But uh, the downside is you don't have a shop to guarantee just to solve some problem which you come across between you guys. And there will be a lot of spa and uh, entertainment uh, bathing, but uh, I have never tried that. I don't know, it's just I don't like being served, maybe. If you go to Pattaya, I am sure 8 out of 10, so you just give them 6 or 8 hours and you will fall in love with them. That is actually quite logical because if you decided to pick someone, that already means she checked your box. And as far as I can tell, most of Thai working girls, they're super hard working. Usually they might already get married and uh, they do that job because they need to get money They need to pay for the child or even support their family, support their parents, their relative or even their husband I mean if necessary, that always happen And the most working Thai girls they know how to treat people The most use the sentence is up to you And it's not like okay you do your thing I just follow you but uh, they treat you like a baby. When you go across streets, they will treat you like a baby. Hold your hand, saying, figure out, watch out the tuk-tuk. <laughs> and if you go back to your hotel or your room, they might undress you. I mean, not that kind of undress, but they will undress you. They might even wash your clothes. Another thing is, when you are trying to eat something, she will even feed you. It's like, you know, some friends said, you know what, tiger, is that a cross? Obviously, you can say you have paid for them. Well, yeah, we did pay for that. Usually, it costs you around a thousand to five thousand baht. It really depends. But come on, let's be honest. Uh, you will never find the same service in other country, in other area. But that is why so many clients left and then they come back again. The thing is, my friend and I go to Thailand, we went to the beach with two girls and uh, my friend and I shared one jet ski and somehow we managed to flip over the jet ski and uh, 
one of the girls cell phone is actually in my jet ski because he asked my friend to take a picture for her so her phone dropped into the ocean so did mine I thought at least I thought so eventually the I mean the provider the jet ski provider drags the jet ski back and somehow managed to find my phone inside the jet ski however the girl's cell phone actually get missing so I asked about uh, how much was her phone it was she told me just uh, 5,000 baht so my friend and I we paid for the 5,000 baht to her the, and then later she went back to the bar so the next day we went to the bar the girl offered us to this one I think that somehow separates the Thai girl Thai working girl with other girl I mean she lost her cell phone she only asked for 5,000 baht I mean obviously she can ask maybe 8,000 or 10,000 baht because cell phone I think it was Samsung and also she doesn't have to spend money to buy the shirt for us so I guess that's the kind of thing you can admire for Thai working girl seems this was a path for water to flow into that river and just to be clear Pattaya is a huge city so it's not only the adult playground it also had a lot of other stuff like the uh, museum, food, seafood, beach, diving and uh, I think it's called Ramdi Water Park. We also had a lot of fun there. And the interesting part is if you are not familiar with that, you can actually hire a guide to guide you. You know what I mean. Uh, it's getting late, gotta go. So a pro tip, you can do workout or do whatever you need in the morning. In the afternoon, you can go beer bar and uh, have supper, maybe go out with someone. If not, at night you can go 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 bar and then maybe at uh, 10, 12 o'clock you can go to a local club to have fun. If you have time, I would recommend you kind of, you know, stick with one and uh, experience the falling in love kind of thing. Oh, forgot to say, if you have a girlfriend or you're married, ah, uh, never mind.